What is up, Madden Gamers? I'm D&D Gaming member Arlick, and today I'm going to switch it up a bit. Um, I'm going to show, I'm going to be showing you guys how to become a better uh, passer in uh, Madden 16. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going over reads and all that. Um, not only that is, you know, I'm going to be showing you the three-second quote-unquote clock um, that I have. Um how to basically scan the field, you know, without getting tunnel vision and locking in on the receivers. I know there's a uh, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they do get the tunnel vision, they lock in on one receiver, and then they end up getting, like, sacked or, you know, picked. Uh, I am using the Vikings with the Vikings playbook. I'm just doing this, you know, it, it, this can be done out of any playbook. So please bear with me. Um, if it is a long video, I'm just trying to help you guys get better um, and go into great detail with it. So... Um, basically any play is what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to show you the PAY slide against a random play. So basically the diagnosis I have here before the play is how many safeties are there. I see one deep safety with one that came in the box. Now I see them playing off a bit. So this looks like it's a cover three, um, on my wide receiver. So I like to drag my X receiver, I put my Y receiver on a uh, swing route to the other side, and then I just set up my, uh, from here I set up my protections. Basically, pre-snap read. Um, I look at my safeties, how many are there, where are they at? Then I look at my defensive backs, pre-snap, how far off are they on the ball? And my very last read pre-snap is the line. Are they spread out too far, or are they pinched in? Now... What I could do here is, you know, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys in the box. I could audible down into a run if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep the pass play here. Um, I've got predetermined reads as far as where I want to go prior to the snap. So my first read I want to make is the A receiver. I know that's going to be my go-to guy. That's the guy I want to get my, who I want to get it to. And then, you know, if he's not there, X. And then, of course, RB. So pre-snap read it's just a's not there check it down to x i know it is i know it's um it's a really quick read um this isn't something that happens overnight this is something that you do want to practice so i'm going to be showing you this here now scanning the entire field again how many guys they have in the box how many safeties are deep um how far off are the defensive backs and then, you know, where do I expect pressure from? I'm expecting it from the left side here as they got a couple guys jumbled up. Um, so here, you know, I do end up pinching my line here, which does help pick up those gap blitzes there. Um, I make a quick read here on my A receiver, which is 12. I could initially throw that, but I don't see him open as I see number 92 underneath. So I'm just going to quickly check it off underneath, or I could hit my running back there, you know, two yards. I'll take it. I can't complain. Now, pre-snap here, what do I see? I see no deep safeties, and then I see everybody in the box. So here I see they're coming with an all-out blitz, so I'm just going to block. You know, this doesn't happen often. This is the computer, so I'm just going to block, you know, everybody here with a max protect, and then I'm going to try to end up going long here. Um, as you can see, I do end up making a throw there. Um... I'll take the one-on-one -on -one every day, and I mean every day, like, as you can see, again, they're running everybody in the box. Again, this is against AI. Um, some users may run that, some users may not run that. Um, predetermined here, I got the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. I do know I want to go with him, so I'm just going to high pass him and just let him go up and get the football and come down with it. Um, so that's that. Now then, here I see them shifting around. Anytime I see a safety, you know, shift around or they come down into the box, um, I'm always prepared for a blitz. I like to call it uh, the Peyton Manning. Um, the Peyton Manning, if you will. Uh, so, here again, one deep safety. I got the receiver's pressing though I got the receivers pressing so this looks like it's a man press so I'm gonna stick my X receiver on just a drag route um, I'm gonna end up pinching my guys 
so that way I don't get the A gap pressure. But I do realize that there is going to be uh, edge heat by how the linebackers are spread out. So I'm going to take my Y wide receiver and I'm just going to put him, you know, on just a little simple curl route underneath. Um, yeah. And then also, I'm not going to be afraid to, you know, throw the ball away if I have to, um, scramble, all that stuff. It, it's all about what you're wanting to do on the defense here. I mean, granted, yeah, I see everybody coming. I could hit that guy there. I just wanted to show you that, you know, hey, if you expect you can't get the ball off, scramble real quick, throw it away. Or, you know, hey, your guy's not open. Don't force it. Scramble. One thing I've learned is, you know, I'll, I'd rather scramble for three or four yards and throw an interception. So let me uh, let me see here what I have. I'm just going to take off with Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, I do have people open. Um, and sometimes I'll even roll out and see if I can't hit those guys. Um, deep guys here, basically... Basically, the deep guys that I have here, um, yeah, I see one deep safety receivers are getting pressed again. So I'm gonna for I'm gonna beat that press here with the X underneath. Um, I see pressure here, so I'm just gonna max protect, and then I'm gonna block one of my guys. That way, I have it. Um, as you can see here, it is man to man. I realize I have a lot of time, but I threw an interception. Um, why is that? Um, basically, that's just a case of staring down the receiver for too long. That ends up happening. Um, protection's good, holds up. I could probably take off running if you will, but I stared down a receiver here. So, again, you want to see the entire field as you have a guy coming open right over there. That's possibly a touchdown rather than an interception. So I'm going to show you this one more time. I see a safety cheat, you know, come cheating up. Um, so again, I'm always I'm always looking to drag my guys, always looking to get, you know, a drag underneath. Anything I have underneath is going to be considered a safety valve here. So again, I'm expecting something here, you know, edges or up the middle. So I'm just going to max protect here. Again, as you can see here, I predetermined who I want to go to, and you can tell there um, that's a touchdown. So that's that's pretty much it. You know, again, what I I try to go into detail as best as possible here. Um, I see a safety pre-snap. I see they got two safeties. One comes into the box. I see how many they have in the box. So I'm gonna max protect against it. Realize I'm gonna have one-on-one -on -one and man-to-man -man defense. So I know I want to go to number 12 with it pre-snap. Here I got everybody picked up, which is going to give me that really good uh, yeah, really good uh, protection. Also, before I go, I want to show you guys the three-second clock, if you will. Um, try to get used to it. Basically what that is is you know you're going to say you're preparing for a blitz, so you know you're going to end up getting hit anyway. So you just snap the football. Three second clock, boom, balls out. You know, it's it's kind of like that second sense there. You know, the ball snapped. I made one, two, kind of like two, three reads on there, like really quick. My first read, you know, he's there. I see him. I'm gonna hit him. Um, balls out within three seconds. So I'm gonna show you one, two, balls out. Um, doesn't matter who I throw it to. So I'm Arlick. Like, comment, and subscribe, and also help support this channel. Um, whenever you donate, I will send you guys out my Seattle Seahawks ebook.